love your shirt, by the way. <clears throat> the rainbow one. You don't need to, it's okay. I don't mind that my socks feel different than are different textures and look very similar but are made different for some reason. Life is very beautiful and I appreciate it very much. 18 is the best year I've experienced so far and life will only be better from here. I am so glad that I've chosen the people in my life. I am very appreciative for Colton. He is the person that has turned my life around. I love him very dearly. And as much as I shitted on this spot at the pool, being, you know, right in our apartment, I appreciate it. I like the ambient sounds in the morning to wake up to. It's very nice that it's right here and I can just walk in and out of my apartment when I want a cheese stick or whatever. I like that I can hear the birds chirping in the morning. is okay and I enjoy it very much and I like that all my videos on YouTube are different that I don't adhere to a single brand that I'm not trying to brand myself that I'm just posting videos that I want for me and people just so happen to enjoy them I like that I like that people watch my videos because it means that I'm not alone in this world and people care <clears throat> much more than I thought I used to think that everyone hated me, and now I know that that is not true. And people value my art. I created a, a video of the Beatles while I was high, going through one of the darkest times I've had in my life. And it's almost at a million views, and that makes me happy every day. Because I love the Beatles so much, and they inspire me every day to keep going. And even though they had a lot of heartbreak and tragic things happen in their history, so have I and so has everybody else. And there's little kids in the pool enjoying themselves, enjoying them, their, their life, having a good time laughing. That makes me smile. There's a little boy wearing checkered orange shorts and that makes me smile. I love life. I just cut my hair and dyed it green. I love life. Let me show you what I look like. This is gonna be an unedited video. This is my hair. I usually don't like the end of a cigarette, but I'm enjoying this because life is okay. I'm autistic, so a lot of things bug me, and a lot of things bother me, and I have breakdowns over little things that other people don't understand, and I can see other people's problems very clearly and have solutions very easily, but when it comes to a minor problem for me, it's very hard to find a solution. I like to roll with things, and just go with the flow and be impulsive. But sometimes I also like to ask questions like, when are we gonna go there? Or how long until we drive there? How long is the drive gonna be? I like to anticipate things and have some kind of a, a idea of what we're doing so that I can mentally prepare myself. But also sometimes I like to go in not knowing what we're doing and asking the waiter to pick for me what my food is. Hi baby, welcome. <clears throat> I'm recording a video.
Start Would you guys like to be in it? Sure. They just got into a motorcycle accident um, about two days ago. So it was two days here, already. Here's what they look like. I'm very bad with time, but uh, no, it'd be about 24 hours tonight, wouldn't it? No. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess only 24 hours. Like I said, time for me is fucked up. Let's look at your feet. <clears throat> My feet don't look that bad. No, the bottom of My left foot is chilling. <laughs> I'm big W for that. Perfect mobility, but let's look at the bottom of everyone right. if, you, if you can. Your back not fucked up? Motherfucker is sitting. You are so fucking fucked. Hey, peep the shirt. I heart hot motherfucking mom. You know it. Yes, sir. Got Motherfucker got like 12 million bracelets on the arm. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. And, and he didn't even have a helmet on. Props to him for surviving that shit. I know, somehow my head is just leg. But even though shit happens, life is fucking beautiful because we, we get to sit here and look at this fucking gorgeous pool at the sunset. And look at those goddamn clouds. And I know. Actually, it's okay. I'll grab my own cigarettes. George, I love you. You can sit right here. We're gonna go on an adventure and grab some cigarettes. <laughs> Guys, I'm recording a video. Would you like to be in it? Video. Just a little vlog of what we're doing, how the day's going, the beautiful pool. You can record us over here. Yes. Yeah, sure. All right. Sure. Beautiful flowers, of course. They're fake, but fuck it, they'll, they'll stay alive forever. That there was a open a bunch one. of holes, of course. Fresh water. Stay fucking hydrated. This is your daily reminder to drink water, guys. And we got a whole bunch of computer shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is Kyler. This is Leo. So, <clears throat> awesome shrooms. Forgot to mention. Straight viber. I'm good. Vibing hard. Vibing hard. I've never vibed harder than in this single moment. <laughs> oh God, we are vibers. I'm just a vibe. <laughs> I would also like to build a PC at some point. I've got my grandpa's in there. This is my coarse hair. Coarse hair. case. Very beautiful, the glass is Thanks very nice. Thanks for everything, I can't wait to turn it on. New yeah, it might actually be ready for liftoff. Also, this video is gonna be on? unedited, so watch what you say. Awesome. Balls, dick and balls. Dick Hockey and ball balls. torture, yeah, that's how we roll. What was I even in here to grab a cigarette? That's what we're doing. Oh, let's not show the room. We're just gonna have a little black moment here. While I guess this weird music is playing. And uh, I'm talking. Hey, black moment's over because guess what? Here's the shrimp container I just painted. Did I make one? Yeah. Very beautiful. Also, it was a weed container. Not anymore. Let's show what we're rocking with. Okay, open it. They're very beautiful. And these. Fuck other drugs that I've tried. These make my life actually functional and beautiful. And fuck taking antidepressants or pills that try to suppress you. Fuck taking sleeping pills. Um, shrooms. Take my shrooms. I'm so glad that they're in my life now. Okay, black moment again. Um, well, I've got a little monologue. I still need to grab my cigarette. <clears throat> I'm changing every day and I am becoming the person that I should have been a long time ago that I was killing also end of black moment we're smoking parliament cigarettes my favorite at the moment gotta get classy with it and I picked the lucky cigarette because it's a lucky day it's a good day so now we're gonna go back to black moment Hey, everyone's in here. Say hi. What's up? Uh, All right, and now we're gonna go back outside to smoke a cigarette. Are you not no, because I don't want to get an infection. <clears throat> Life is fucking beautiful. Even if it doesn't go exactly how I want it or plan it, even if it doesn't go like a movie, 
Life is fucking beautiful. And I always record horizontally for the YouTube because I used to never do that. And I made it a point to always do that, but fuck it, let's record vertically for the one time. And it's upside down, bonus points. I'm becoming a better person every day and I'm enjoying the things that I'm saying. I used to hate the things that I say, but now I'm articulating myself better and better every day. And despite my challenges internally, finding ways to, to speak words, I'm finding that my words are very fluent and come out very beautifully and I often say the right things even though I don't know what to say. And I appreciate that greatly. <clears throat> Life is very beautiful. I used to have a disdain for all my family members and my brothers and my father and mother. But I do not anymore. And I'm coming to find that I would like to grow relationships with all of them, as both of my brothers have reached out to me previously. And I had arranged to meet with my brother and, and his partner, Max, and their new baby, Mars, and then the motorcycle accident happened, and I had to cancel those plans so I could take care of Colton. But I will reschedule and I have my whole life ahead of me. I don't have to always have things in a rush and I'm trying to pace myself and live life not so go, go, go. It's appropriate for sometimes to to rush around and grab hold by the hand and just, hey, let's go to this place and let's look at this. But also it's nice to sit back and enjoy things and just pace ourselves and have a slow walk. And I usually edit out the times when I cough in my videos or when I make a weird sound or when I make a weird face or I'll cover it up. But I'm also gonna post this video without editing or without editing it also. Um I did not mean to say that, I meant to say without watching it. I'm gonna post it without watching it. And I will watch it after it's posted. And I would love to watch this while it's still tripping. I'm not even tripping, I'm just, I feel better. I feel nice, I feel aloof. Not even in a goofy, fucking manic, lathy, like I've had in other trips. But it's just nice. And my thoughts are collected. Every trip is different. I'm coming to find that every trip is different and you cannot recreate one. And that's beautiful, because every trip, for me at least, keeps getting better and better. And I'm finding that mixing things like shrooms and, and weed are very beneficial and, and, and I think it's mean as well. And I would like to try DXM and shrooms together. Um, but I'll wait on that until I can fully immerse myself in a trip um, and, and not have to uh, be sober enough to take care of cold. Also, I often find that autistic people phrase themselves better than neurotypical people, which is funny because we're often the ones that people think can't speak or, or like say things that are weird, but we're often the ones that communicate the best. And we're the best people to be in relationships with because of our communication. Not in all cases, but you know, every autistic person is different, just like every human being is different. Everybody has their own set of needs. I'm also coming to find that. I'm trying to accommodate everybody's needs. I used to be a more selfish person and I'm trying to be better. For my own gang and for others. Because when you better yourself, you better other people around you. And I'm also coming to find that. I've known that for a while. But I still put that into application every day. I still tell myself that. The ambient noise is nice. The birds are lovely. I don't hate my body as much as I once did. I'm very happy for that. I'm 
growing to like it more and more. I'm going to smoke the cigarette now. So I'm going to prop you up on Sir George and Tim the first. Um, the angle's probably not the best, but fuck it, we ball. I love that I did a rat tail. I've always wanted one. I tried one before, but it didn't work. And I'll do it again, but like with smaller, more condensed things. But I just did it like this because I was running out of dye. And I figured, why not do it like this? Cheers. Trying to live my life mindfully. And with self-preservation. Despite all of the things I'm doing to myself physically that are negative, I'm also doing things that are positive, like trying to eat healthy and trying to sleep well in positions that are good for me. I'm trying to take care of myself mentally while taking care of those around me. I'm trying to make my space beautiful in a way that accommodates me and the people around me because that fulfills my dreams as an interior designer. Sometimes when the smoke gets in my eyes, it reminds me of when I was a child and I would go to Girl Scout trips and the campfire smoke would get in my eyes and they would say, smoke follows pretty girls. And I sometimes still think that to myself. If this in or if this video accidentally ends itself before I'm ready to end it, then here's a goodbye before then. But let's hope that doesn't happen. I'm always prepared for anything to happen now, I believe. I try to be. I also try to not to make definite statements and try to be loose, but I'm definite on the things that I'm sure I can be definite about. Like, I used to hate the color orange because my brother Lev liked it, but I'm now coming to find the color orange is very beautiful. Orange and pink and yellow in tandem are very nice. I also like to use big words. I would say that I'm a Suscopedalian. Your bag is very beautiful. I like to give people compliments that are genuine because I find that when you are genuine, it means the world to people, even if they don't know that you're being genuine and have trust issues. I also find that a lot of people have trust issues in this world because I have a lot of people being selfish and uh, having their own desires. Like I was about to be selfish and kill an ant that was walking on the ground, but why? There was no purpose in that. I'm gonna let him do his thing and walk because all life, all life is beautiful. Even the animals that are ugly, even the plants that I don't understand and can't pronounce. Even though there's a fly crawling on me, it's okay. Even though I'm not smoking this cigarette consistently, just drag, 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 I don't need to. Because it's okay that I, I let it burn by itself. I find that watching it burn and watching this smoke come off of it is very beautiful. I also used to despise, well not despise, but have a dislike for the word beautiful. But I find that the word beautiful is in and of itself beautiful. I like that it uses almost all of the vowels. I also like that my brain is very complex. Like all of the vowels. I like that I like vowels more than consonants and even numbers more than odds. Although sometimes I like odds more than evens. The number five reminds me of my old friend Morgan, whom I haven't talked to in years. I used to go to school with her. We always wore flip flops. She would always wear a hoodie. She liked OU. She had brown hair. 
<clears throat> she had a very distinct face and smile. I still think of her. I still think of friends that I had when I was in elementary school that I don't talk to anymore. I have fond memories of elementary school, even though I have bad ones. I went back to my second grade and third grade school and I found my spark again because I discovered that I loved learning and I only hated it because of the environment that I was in being told that I had to learn things I didn't like learning about. But I also find that I like to learn about things that I used to not like learning about. And I like learning about things that other people don't because you have to learn about the hard things and the easy things. You have to learn about the beautiful and the ugly. You have to learn about war and you have to learn about Woodstock. I like that I can speak eloquently without having to pre-think of what I'm saying. Although sometimes I do like to think of what I'm gonna say before I say it. I like that I have certain things about me that are always the same. But I like that I like change. And I like that I'm coming to like things about myself. I like doing the same thing over and over because I find it aesthetically pleasing. I like that I have synesthesia and say and feel things that other people cannot understand. I like the aesthetic of a cigarette. I love my monkey George. I love patterns. I love speaking like this and saying whatever without having to think about it while also maintaining my own thoughts and not having to say everything that I'm thinking. Not that I don't want to share it, but just that they're just beautiful thoughts that I can enjoy having on my brain. I like the movie Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory because it has Gene Wilder in it. But I also like the remake with Johnny Depp. I love shiny things. I like the word opulent. I love the 20s and the 1800s. My favorite period in time at the moment is the Edwardian period. I love the dresses. I would love to get bustles. I like that there's a certain awkwardness to life and it doesn't always happen beautifully because it juxtaposes the very beautiful moments where everything goes very smoothly and perfectly and you can feel the difference. Again, I love the sound of the birds because they're very beautiful. I used to not like them. I used to bird watch with my family. I also used to tell myself I wasn't a family person because I didn't like my family. But I just don't like certain things about my family. And I find that all of them are very beautiful in their own ways. I love my grandma, Mimi, even though she doesn't like to be called grandma. And even though we had disagreements about certain things in the past, I find that the things we agree on are the most important. And I love her very much. And I'm glad that I have videos and pictures of her, even though neither of us liked our appearance at the time we took those pictures. I love life and it is very beautiful. I love ants and the movie Ant Farm. Or the movie, um, I don't remember the name, but there's a little boy who sets fire to an ant hill and then has to become an ant and see what it's like to be an ant. But anyway, I think it's about time to conclude this video. Thank you for watching. I've had a beautiful time recording it. I'm gonna go be with my lovely boyfriend and all of his friends whom I have had a great pleasure of coming to know, despite all of their flaws and despite all of mine and the things that I have done or said that have made any of them uncomfortable. 
if that's ever happened, which I doubt it has, but I still apologize for those times. And I used to never love people because I thought it was cringy. But I now love people that I do not, or that I did not used to love. And I used to hate people, but I do not hate anyone. I only have a disdain for certain actions that people have chosen to take. I find that my view on life is very just. And even though I say things that contradict myself sometimes, like the video is gonna end here and then I continue recording, I always stay true to who I am. And it's just little inconsistencies like that that show that I'm human. But it's never ones that are harmful. I would also like to record the beautiful water before I go. Oh, it's still recording, lovely. Oh, the trees look very, or the shrubs look very nice here. I shouldn't say shrubs, that's a very bad word that has a negative connotation. The, the greenery is very nice. The pool looks nice, the sky looks nice. Thank you for watching, and goodbye there.